Dye. Good morning. The weather here, pretty quiet. We're going to be in the low 40s as we head to the 9 o'clock hour. It's not quite as chilly as yesterday morning. Low to mid-60s by lunchtime, and then by this afternoon, we're topping out in the mid-70s. So it will be a lot warmer than it was yesterday. But again, we got to get to the chilly start first. Temperatures up in the north, 15 in Alamosa, 25 Taos, 37 in Clayton, right at the freezing mark for Santa Fe. We're in the low to mid-40s for Albuquerque and then down in the south. In the 40s and 50s this morning, winds not nearly as bad. They have finally quieted down right now. Out the west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour statewide, but it is adding a little bit to the chill. Feels like it's in the teens up in Durango, Alamosa, Cortez, mid 20s for Santa Fe, and it feels like it's in the upper 30s here in the metro, but a far cry from the upper 20s, which, which is what the wind chill was here yesterday morning. Skies mostly clear. It will be a gorgeous day, and temperatures are going to be nice and warm too, continuing to warm into Friday before a big cool down moves in. I'll have the details coming up. Show me the money. That story tops the Thursday morning news blitz. More than a year and a half, residents of Las Vegas, New Mexico have been overcharged for garbage collection. The city now admits the mistake, but claims it can't repay the hundreds of thousands of dollars in overcharges. Regents at Eastern New Mexico University voted to increase tuition again for next year. At the Portales campus, in-state undergraduate students will now have to pay $113 more per semester. Preliminary autopsy results show a one-month-old Albuquerque boy who died over the weekend had no obvious signs of trauma. The newborn's parents Parents found him not breathing and admitted to police that they'd been drinking the night before. Just a day before the Endeavor shuttle is set to take off, a fire broke out at the launch site. Overnight, a wildfire started at the Kennedy Space Center, but it is now 90% contained. In Pakistan, another roadside bomb hit a bus full of Navy employees early this morning. The blast killed five people and is the third attack this week. The Pakistani Taliban claimed responsibility. And those are your Thursday morning headlines.